PFC Brewing here. Uh, just want to give you guys a few tips that I've picked up along the way. Um, I am by no means the guy that's thought of any of this stuff. Uh, I've found a lot of this stuff on uh, the internet, homebrewtalk.com, uh, YouTube, and various internet sites. Um, but basically, a couple quick tips. It always helps to be consistent when you're brewing. Uh, to know how much water you have, how much uh, uh, water you have when you're brewing in your in your kettle, how much water how much water you have in your uh, fermenter. Um, real quick, I got a simple uh, simple way of measuring how many uh, gallons I have in my my mash kettle. What I did was I poured a gallon, not my mash kettle, my uh, brew kettle. What I did was I poured a gallon of water in my brew kettle and I have this plastic spoon here and as you can see I have all these markings on there. Basically what I did was I put a gallon of water in my brew kettle, measured out where it was at, made a marking two gallons, made a marking three gallons, four gallons, five gallons, six gallons, seven gallons, eight gallons. Uh, I should have up to nine gallons on this guy. So that way, after I get done mashing, I'm not sure what my, uh, if I didn't properly measure out what I got for my mash, just dip this guy in and count the lines as I go down and it'll tell me how many uh, gallons I have. This is really handy whenever I'm trying to figure out how many gallons of, uh, of wort I have left after, uh, after the full boil. It really helps out. Um, really helps out you to uh, learn your brew equipment as well. Another quick tip um, that I also learned on the internet, just want to share, is to mark your fermenting vessel. Basically uh, a lot of those uh, plastic fermenters, they do have markings on them. I did this so that I got four gallons at the top, four and a half, five, five and a half, and six. I don't know if you guys can see that. Basically that does allow me to do this. Um, I do a lot of stuff with uh, a lot of my brews and with beer smith. I'm still working on that, uh, trying to get used to that. Still trying to cal calibrate my equipment a little bit better. Uh, but th this stuff definitely helps. It lets me know what I have in the in the each vessel, um, and I can track its progress along the way. It also helps uh, to take diligent notes, um, and. <laughs> It's really helped me out since I've been trying to start putting videos on YouTube. Let's go back and review the tape. So there you have it. There's a couple of real quick tips. Enjoy your brew.